had to take a shortcut. Well, I wouldn't have had to if he could just once get out of the house on time. Well, what's the big hurry? One of your girlfriends supposed to be there? God, I hope so. <laughs> Something just fall out of there? I didn't see you. Well, tell him his doors came open. Excuse me. Your doors are open. Hello? What was that about? All I know is it's clear. Go. Well, did something fall out of there or not? Go! How'd the re-canvassing go? Broad daylight, nobody saw nothing. Miss Douglas returned your call. Says she wants Sophie to have more healing time before you talk to her again. Okay. Hey, you guys, it's uh, going on 8 o'clock. We're fresh out of Leeds. What do you say we call it a day? I still got time to go to the toy store. Cassie's going to faint when she finds out I got the twins' birthday present two days early. Hey, it's me. We still on for dinner? I think so. Okay, see you then. How's Mr. Perfect? Oh, uh, he's good. Of course, I've only met him once, and the only time I talk to him is when I'm calling to cancel, but other than that, great. You got any plans tonight, Munch? No, but the night is young, and the world's full of endless possibilities. Everybody stays. Why? Man in a white van grabbed another girl. All he got was beer. So says the owner. A uh, six bag. The one on special. How long after you left did Mrs. Guzik arrive? Uh, no customers between. I want you to tell me everything you remember about him. American, six feet, drunk, eye color, hair color. Any distinguishing characteristic? The teeth. The teeth were very unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, like uh, like Austin Powers. They pull that tape yet? That was broken when I bought it, but I figured it was better than nothing. Yeah, know? that's brilliant. No chance this guy salvaged my crap fest of a day by using a credit card, is there? Oh, no, no. He, it was the last 20 I got. I remember distinctly because he asked me for two dollars of his change and quarters. Harry, write him a receipt for the top 20 in that drawer. See if the lab can let the print off it. You got it. So, Sophie, what grade are you in? Third. Third. And do you like to read? Yeah, me too. When your mom brings home takeout, like pizza, do you ever notice the name and the address on the box? De Carlos. I forget the street, but we can walk there from where we live. And do you have any takeout food or pizza with the man? Hey, Sophie, it's OK. We're not going to talk about anything bad that happened there, I promise, OK? So tell me, what did you, uh, what did you get to eat when you were there? Cupcakes and fruit punch. Or what else? Corn candy, like you get on Halloween. Well, that sounds good, but what'd you have for dinner? Cupcakes and fruit punch and corn candy the whole time. Nothing else? No. It's all we ever had. Now, Sophie, I need you to think really hard. Do you ever remember the man wearing a shirt with his name on it? No. Do you remember anything with the name on it? A streamer at the party. It had my name on it. In squares with glitter. Okay, good. And tell me, what else? What else was at the party? Balloons. He blew them up with a big machine, and then he talked like a cartoon. If he had a Sophie banner, that means that he went shopping after he abducted her. Only, what, a thousand stores sell party supplies? How many of them red helium tanks? Should narrow it down considerably. And if we give half to Munch and Finn? Hey, when we're there, remind me to get decorations for the twins' party. I won't have to use crime scene tape for it. You're way off on the base. You know him? There's this guy. And he smiles. It takes a real effort not to flinch. It might be him. You come through here yesterday? I didn't work yesterday, but if it's the guy I'm thinking of, he was here Friday. He didn't by any chance get a helium tank, did he? 
Yeah, that's him. Could you get the credit card receipt for me, please? He paid cash. You had to take ID on the deposit on the tank, didn't you? We have these cute little mini tanks now. He just bought it. How regular does he come in here? Every few weeks or so, mostly for the seasonal candy. We're one of the only places that sells it year-round. Seasonal candy? You know, candy canes, marshmallow chicks, chocolate bunnies. It's right there. That's what he gets, the candy corn. If I were him, with those teeth, I'd lay off the sugar. Thanks. I want two men on that party shop, 99. Nobody so much as takes a pee break without somebody covering. That's it. Michael, hi. I am so sorry. Yeah, we, we have kind of a cluster going on here, so... Um, Every day to the end of creation. How's that? I really can't talk right now, so let, let me call you later, okay? All right, thanks. Lots on that pay phone come back yet? Not yet. Kath, you know, so I, I do know how important it is, baby, but... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll give you a call in a couple hours. Okay. Bye-bye. Kathy now informs me we've been working 36 hours. I got something. Tell me again everything you gave Sophie to eat. Uh, cupcakes and fruit punch. And candy corn. I extended the parameters. I got three autopsy reports with those exact same stomach contents. We've got a girl from the Bronx in 98, one in Brooklyn in 99, and a Long Island girl last year. All three were strangled. All three were killed three days after they went missing. All three were found in water. How did nobody see the pattern? All from different boroughs. One of them wasn't found for two weeks. The ME put TOD 11 days prior, the third day. Sophie escaped on her third day. Six blocks from the East River. Kirsten begins her third day in the morning. They're taking where I'll stay. 